My advice to women who are struggling to find their self-worth is, first of all, I hear you and I understand why. I suggest that you find other women to be in community with, find a way to get in touch with your gratitude and genuinely be happy for the good things that happen to them. Eventually, that movement will be life affirming for you and also it'll change the world because that's what we need is we need more women who are willing to not compete with one another but help each other move ahead. First of all, all the female artists that were here tonight, I already am absolutely in love with and admire all of them in a depth that I can't even really articulate, especially the younger artists that are making their way up. I wanna shout out some of the women that have inspired me to be a powerful woman, one of them being Joni Mitchell who I think is maybe the greatest contemporary artist of our time. Bonnie Raitt, who's a badass, and she leads with her hips. She's never allowed anyone to censor her. Another one will be Tanya Tucker, who's been to hell and back. She's battled for acceptance and forgiveness, and it's finally coming to her. The other will be Dolly Parton, who is an angel on my shoulder and also the devil on my other shoulder. When I was 15 years old, I read the back of Dolly Parton's book, when she became the first country artist ever to speak out in support of LGBTQ people. And I can tell you that as a queer kid from a small town, getting love from Dolly is uh, second only to God. To me, I think the most poignant and potent social justice issue that's worth discussing this year is the plight of displaced peoples. I personally don't differentiate between economic migrants, asylum seekers, and refugees. There are tens of millions of people displaced from their homes right now due to poverty and war. And uh, our ability to look at those people and their innate worth with some dignity and respect will change the course of humanity. I think it's the greatest test of our time. I would like to see our country and other countries become more accommodating to people that are put in the devastating situation of being displaced from their homes for whatever reason.